Right, here we go again with another trotter video. I'm doing a bit more on the chassis this time. I hope to get a fuel line running and also maybe sort out these brake lines and get them replaced, so keep watching. As I said before, we've got the original brake lines here, which have been replaced. The gentleman who had it before me had actually done that and replaced them, but they're not the best uh, looking things. And bearing in mind, I've got some new brake lines. I've got the correct tools to make the engines and stuff like that. I thought I might as well make my own. But um, I've also got this uh, six mil internal diameter fuel hose as well. It's, as you can see, I'll just show you what, what it is here, just to, in case you're interested. As you can see, it's a fuel hose for uh, suitable for unleaded fuel. It's a quarter inch fuel hose and this, that's the internal bore diameter. The outside bore diameter is probably about 13 mil, something like that. So, um, and as you can see, it's got some sort of webbing around it as well. So it's actually quite strong stuff. And you can see by the thickness on the uh, walls, how, how robust it is. So yeah, I've also got these uh, P clips here as well. There's different ways to fix them. I've just chose the P clip method, as you can see there. And I've also got the smaller P clips for the uh, brake line as well. So I've, uh, I'm hoping to put them on as well today. So initially all I'm gonna basically do here is just basically run it out and put a few clips down the line of the body and I'll terminate the ends of them as and when the time is right. So uh, yeah, so let's get this on. See you in a minute. <laughs> Right, well as you can see now, we've got the fuel line running from front to back. I've got plenty of slack le left over there. And I've also, I'm not too sure exactly what way I'm gonna run this yet uh, around this freeway valve here. So um, I'll leave that for the moment before I finish off clipping now, uh, because I'm gonna get these pipes ready now. These ones are obviously coming out. So I'm gonna go and get some, I'm gonna do the unions here, take these pipes out and start creating some pipe work to go back in. And then once that's in, I can then know where I can put my final clip. So I'm just gonna get some pipe work out now and start making these up. Right, that's about as much as I can do on the fuel pipe at the moment. I've pulled off the brake lines now and um, I'm gonna try and recreate them and make them a little bit better. So, I mean, as you can see here, they're looking pretty rough and pretty mangled. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to recreate these basically. So. Uh, I've got a kit here which actually manufactures the ends on these, plus I've got some spare tubes. So let me show you that. So as you can probably see here, this is the kit I've got. I've actually used this kit once before and it worked absolutely fine. I think I used it on the Mondeo if I remember rightly. So we've got some of the brake line here. We've also got the, the clamping tool which you actually flare the joint with. We've got the actual, the, the, the uh, little press thing that you actually wind down. And these are the little nipple ends for a different size of brake lines that you've got here. So the, the bending tools there, and I've also got a selection of ends as well. 
So we're going to have a go at recreating one. So if I pull off this one first, I'm going to unravel a, a, a section of pipe. We've got to be careful. This stuff is actually annealed. In other words, it's softened. And the more you bend it, the more it will stiffen back up again. So we're going to try and avoid sort of bending this too much. So I'm just going to pull a length off there like that. And what I need to do first of all is to get this end absolutely flat. So what I'm going to do is to just use the little cutter, ream a piece off of the end of it there, just by closing that down onto the pipe. And once you just snug it up, just sort of spin it around a couple of times and then a little nip again. Now what you don't want to do here is really whack this down very tight in one go because you can feel it when it cuts because you can compress the pipe and reduce the diameter of the inside of the pipe. We will be reaming that out afterwards but uh, it just just something to be aware of. There we go and as you can probably see there the end of the tube it sort of bevels inwards a little bit so we will have to open that up again but what I'm going to do first of all is to take our little clamp tool there as you can see you've got to choose the right one as you can probably see I've got this countersink side and if I spin it over then you've got this flat side so I'm just going to put it in the flat side first and I'm going to put it into the vise right and by doing this all this enables me to do is just literally run the file over a flat edge just ensuring that that end is nice and flat and I'm just going to take a drill bit just to just to ream that out a little bit just that we've got no burr as you can see there that could uh, restrict the pipe in any way right okay that's that bit just loosen them clamps off now so one thing to remember is always remember to slide your your nipples on so I've got to put that on first and now we're going to turn this clamp around and use the correct flaring size for the uh, the actual clamp involved. So I'm going to fix this back in the vise again. So this time I'm putting the tube in the other way. In other words, the correct way. And I want to probably have that sticking up probably about a quarter of an inch. There we go. That's nicely in the vise. And I'm going to get the correct bit for our flare. And these are all denoted by the size of the shaft there. So you want that to be able to fit inside your pipe. So we then get the right one, put that on top of our piece of pipe sticking up. We get this clamp tool, get it over our pipe like that. And again, we're going to be turning this. And this will in turn compress the flare at the end of the pipe until it seats snugly as you say look you don't want to over pull it and then reduce release and take it out like that move that and then you're left with flare joint there now what you can do that's a single flare you can then just put the tool on by itself afterwards which I'm going to do now can you see the way that that is a sort of a, a rounded fronted edge on that we're going to turn that into a double flare now again just by sliding on the tool without the little mandrel find the center of our pipe make sure everything's central and again we're just going to turn this in just so it snugs in you haven't got to go whacking this down hard and then remove it and then take that off and as you can see there, we've got a lovely finished edge now. Everything's smooth. Looking down the top, we're looking fine there. Remove the clamp. Bring cheap tools, look, the end of it broke, look, off the nut. Got to two new nuts to go on there now. Right, just get that out of there. And hopefully, there's our nice double flared end, which is the first part of our new end for this pipe. So I'm just gonna measure off now the rest of this pipe and then we'll finish off.
Okay then, let's see if we can get this to fit. These new ends I've got don't fit in this old existing <laughs> thread thing. The threads in this are the old, this is the old original one, which obviously is some sort of imperial thread. But the threads in this is obviously imperial, and these are metric ends. So I've got to now change this unit for a more modern one with the mo modern threads. But as you can probably see there, when it goes in, it's going to look a whole lot neater with the uh, copper pipe there. And then you just sort of basically tweak it up. So I'm, I'm going to be happy with that anyway. So there we go. Well, there you go. There's always something when there's uh, modifications to do of any sort when you're mixing with old Imperial or old type vehicles with new stuff. So I'm going to have to order a new uh, joint there. And uh, that will bring up all my connections up to the new modern type, which is going to be the metric type. So I'm going to carry on now making up a few more pipes anyway. But... Um, this was one of the existing pieces down there, which uh, I was hoping to retain. Obviously, that's not going to be the case. So, uh, yeah, time to crack on and get the other parts made up, and I'll see you at the end of it all. Right, well, it looks like I might have to use the old fittings there because I think the, the actual fittings were a different size. So I've decided to come back down to the unit now until I sort that lot out, and I'm going to finish off doing some more preparation. So I might as well put you on the time lapse, and we'll see you a bit later. Carry on. Enjoy. Will you take part in my life, my love? That is my dream. I think what I dream is what you make it. Always try to give. Don't ever take it. I think what I dream is what you make it. Always try to give. Don't ever take it. 
Right, so there we go. We've done a bit more down the unit. I'm just, I'll be doing a little bit of the old cutting in as well. Let's show you. As you can see, this is all the stuff that takes the time. And it's got to be done, so you might as well do it properly. So I'm going to spend a bit more time doing this. And hopefully when you come back, you'll see a lot more of this done. It's been, he's busy doing other jobs down here. And you might remember this bumper that uh, has been repaired two or three times now. Gary, yet again, <laughs> he went to Cadwell Park over the weekend and he went down to Grass Verge and the Grass Verge caught the bottom of the bumper and pulled the bumper off. So another, yet another repair on the VXR bumper. He's got a temporary one on there at the moment, which is one we took off of another car. So yet again, more bumper repairs on the VXR. How do you manage that? Jimmy said make you look silly on camera because you've done three dents on your car. Three, uh, three, three times now doing that bumper. What do you think about it? I think because we had repaired it properly in the beginning. But you can't say that with the body shop. Eh? You can't say that one, eh? <laughs> I can't be better name. <laughs> right, well while Injun Bracket are arguing amongst themselves, I'm going to say to now and we'll see you again in the next vid. Until then, bye for now. Thank you.